Oh, why are you wanting this? I was asked a couple times in my live stream to do a, a reaction to the new Snow White trailer. We already know this movie's going to be absolutely trash. Uh, what, what do you want? What do you want? You, I, I'm here to please everybody that I can. So we're going to do a reaction video and you're going to get my honest and true reaction to the Snow White trailer that has come out. Okay, like with usual with these, it's going to be a few seconds, pause, few seconds, pause, just to, to be informative and to make this fair use. Okay, so Disney Snow White teaser trailer, apparently it's coming out in theaters March 21st. Um, I gotta say the aesthetic here in the first screenshot here with the cottage, you got the rabbit in the bottom there. You got a lot of the reds in this, which I believe red was a very strong color in the original movie, especially with the apple she bites into. Where does this trailer really go? Okay, well, you've got the CGI animals. It'd be, it would have been nicer. This is a Disney concept. It'd be nicer if they used actual animals, uh, again, instead of just going the CGI route. Um, I know you get the more expressive things in it. You get the, the more stuff with Snow White, probably singing to the birds. You'll be able to do that original magic that you had. But this is, uh, it's Rachel Zellwinger, which... She, a lot of people didn't say she fit the role very well. Disney. I mean, I mean, you get the rabbits, you get the, the animals. He, th this is Snow White in that sense. We got the seven dwarves. Um, okay. So whistle while you work. Oh. No, I, they, they, they have the dwarves that are all CGI now. There was a lot of, um, a lot of people up in arms over this because they went the CGI route for even the dwarves. It would have been quite easy and there's many actors. And in, in this, in this essence, you have so many actors that could have stepped up for these roles in a role that they don't, a lot of actual small people don't get to do. And that's why there was such a big uproar from that particular subset of people. Uh, I mean, it, it, the dwarves just look wrong. Okay, so we got the evil witch. The, why is it a, a glass and um, pewter looking crown? If I remember from folklore, the, the, the witch or the fae or stuff like that, they wouldn't necessarily use like a lead based or a pewter based version because it would be poison, more poisonous to, to the fae kind in that sense. Sorry, that's, that's my uh, fantasy mind going off and on a tangent. Magic mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest? Oh God. Best one of all. Well, she's not as white as snow like the original story. I mean, it, it has the aesthetic of the Disney-ish magic, but it, of course it's being lost to uh, what happens behind the production, what happens behind the scenes of the, of the movie. But now she's captured by Prince or Treants. You know, it's just the werewolf uh, wanting to come and do his thing. Why, why does a deer have red eyes? I'm disappointed it wasn't the werewolf. So now we got the snow white encased in gold and glitter. Okay, so what I'm seeing here right now is they're trying to touch on every point, but there is so much behind the background of the movie, it, it, it's going to be a hard sell for a lot of people. Um, there, there's a lot of uproar over it because this could have, this type of movie could have provided a lot of work for people that just don't get that type of work in the first place, especially in a niche category like that was. 
Um, so going the CGI route, I would like to see less CGI and more actual animals, more actual people in something like this. So, I mean, it doesn't... Because they went so heavy into the CGI, I expect the budget for the film to be so astronomical that they'll never be able to capitalize on that. Now, of course, I've got the plug-in here, um, and it's showing me that 882,000 people are downvoting this. I don't know how accurate this is. I, I, I generally don't look these uh, plugins anymore uh, because they, they get thrown out the window. But you can see the replies. It's got 36,000 replies on 7 million views. Generally, that many uh, comments on there, it very well could be legitimately at that point. 7 million views to get almost a million downvotes, that's insane. That number, of course, is higher than it probably is. Um, and you can see here other people have uh, picked it up and showing how it just reaches new heights on how things are being put there. Imagine putting $209 million, three years, and multiple controversies to make to make a remake of a movie nearly 100 years old, and the original is still better. And that's exactly the point. The, the remakes that are happening in cinema right now, they don't do anything good. They don't do anything good for the original movie. Uh, it maybe brings up sales on the original movies a tad bit, like 1%, but it's not going to do anything, and then they just take the story and redo it. It used to be they would do the remasters of stories, uh, the remasters of the animation, uh, just so they can keep it in the vault and cycle their copyright. And that way they could say, our, okay, our copyright's newer again and we get to do this again and it's not going to the wayside. We're using that IP. But now it's, we remake everything um, and it just falls at the wayside. And a lot of people sit there and they go, eh, it's not, not as good. I'm rooting for the poison apple. Uh, Disney invites you and I must politely decline. Oh man. <laughs> Disney's getting roasted on this. I realize how great the 1937 animation was. And that is the strongest thing out of us all. Now we have AI art. We have CGI being pushed out there. It's not making things better. It's making things worse and easier to ingest media. But then you lose the knack of what artistry actually is. I miss the good old days of true Disney artists. There is some on YouTube that honestly make things look absolutely giantly different than the Disney animation we are seeing now, where Disney has now become this corporation that just pushes a narrative and then shovels down our throats something else altogether. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing out here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon. <laughs>